I'm Bill Mulligan. I work at Isovalent on the Cilium and eBPF communities. If you didn't know, the logo for eBPF is a B. So I like to say I'm a community pollinator and I'm super excited to be here at KubeCon North America 2022. So the day has been awesome so far. I think it's great to really see the whole community coming here together and seeing so many great people again. I also really like the keynotes this morning. There was a great one with a couple of project maintainers and they were talking about how we can make projects successful. And it's great to also hear from a lot of companies in the ecosystem that they're gonna reinvest and put people working on upstream again. And I'm excited to hear that. Hey, I'm Kelsey, uh, KubeCon. Uh, I actually helped start KubeCon. So in the very first KubeCon, me, Joseph Jackson, Patrick Riley, we created the conference for the community. And if you can just look around now, the community is much bigger than we started. I'm here to see old friends and make some new ones. Hi, my name is Bart Farrell. I'm the head of community at the Data on Kubernetes community. I've had a very full first day. Awesome to start from the very beginning with the keynotes. Massive shout out to Heba, who I'll be with tomorrow in our panel about ADHD with Rich and also with Farah. I got to see a lot of people I hadn't seen for a while. Got to meet Hippie Hacker for the first time. Shout out to Bill Mulligan for introducing me. Got to hang out with our intern Divine, who came all the way from Nigeria. That was cool. Just catching up with a lot of folks, Divya, Savitha, Honestly, too many names to mention, but all of them are a reminder of the beautiful community we have, how much we have to offer to each other. Also got to hang out with the ambassadors, new, cool, exciting things happening in the ambassadors program, but we'll have to wait to hear about that. Tomorrow, looking forward to, like I said, the panel, catching up with more folks and really enjoying the magic of KubeCon being together. For those of you who aren't here in person, you're still here with us. And I look forward to interacting with all of you as soon as possible. Hello, everyone. My name is Ricardo. I am a CNCF ambassador. I work for VMware. It was great to see, actually, the recognition of the uh, the contributors. I think it's it's great to see that that actually people need to understand that Kubernetes is not just made of random companies, but actually to real from, from real people that likes to be there. Hi, I am Srikaran. Um, I'm an independent contributor to Kubernetes. I'm just drawing in the energy, honestly. I've got a pretty packed three days ahead of me. Hi, I'm Pauline. I'm the head of community at GitHub. Um, so what I've enjoyed the most about KubeCon so far has to be meeting our amazing community um, and also connecting with loads of new people in the CNCF uh, ecosystem. And what I'm looking forward to in the next few days of KubeCon is just to keep connecting with as many people as possible. All right, what am I looking forward to? All the newest technologies that I know nothing about. I'm here to learn just like everybody else and security stuff is very interesting to me and how people are solving day three problems. Hello, I'm Edward Yanel, part of Team Lens and Marantis, and I'm looking forward to KubeCon. Today's Tuesday, and it's been an awesome day so far. It's about 4 p.m. We're halfway through the show today, and it's been wonderful. I've seen some awesome keynotes, met with many Kubernetes experts, people that are new to Kubernetes. Hi, I'm Benarin, Developer Relations Manager at Teleform. I've had a great first day at KubeCon North America 2022. It's very autumnal in Detroit. It's been great sessions. Uh, it's been great to meet a whole bunch of community, not only people using Kubernetes, but also people who are contributing to it. Well, the one I really looked forward to was um, Kenny's talk about um, giving machine ID, machine rights. Hey everyone, I'm Jacqueline Salinas. I'm director of open source programs at SysDIC. And today is day one of KubeCon. I'm really excited. I spent most of my day staffing the kiosk for Falco sharing swag with the community and just educating them on what cloud native security is. Hi, I'm Zach Newman. I'm a software engineer at ChainGuard. Uh, this is my first ever KubeCon. I'm having a great time. No, but the, the talks have been really excellent, learning a whole lot. Uh, I'm very interested in the security space. I work at ChainGuard. Uh, that's kind of what we do. Uh, and so it's great to see there's a million companies doing all really cool, very complimentary things. I think the, the world of containers is getting more secure every day and being here has just, just really convinced me of that. I'm a little biased, but I really enjoyed the SigStoreCon yesterday. Uh, I'm very excited about this technology um, as sort of a means of securing containers. So I'm Jonathan from Armo. I'm the VP Marketing of the company. It's my third KubeCon uh, already. KubeCon is always a great event to be in. Meet the, com meet the community, meet people I work with, meet people like Kunal, which is, you know, always great to meet in, in person. Um, first day, 
really exciting day. Um, the booth was uh, busy with people, busy with meetings, and I'm really looking for the rest of the week to meet more people, to demonstrate more about what Cubescape is, and to the parties, the famous parties of KubeCon, of course. Hi, my name is Courtney. I'm DevRel for Monaco at CubeShop. Um, and this is my first KubeCon, my first day at a KubeCon, and my day has been fantastic. The community here is amazing. People are super helpful. I've met some of the absolute like top people that I could have expected to meet um, who have helped me on my Kubernetes learning journey. So, so far, so good. Hoping for more and better tomorrow. Hi, I'm, I'm Kyle. Um, I, create, I created Docker Slim. And we have an awesome Slim AI company, and we have Kelsey right there signing books. So it's been a great day, but there's a lot of other interesting stuff at KubeCon, a lot of interesting uh, open source um, project talks, a lot of uh, security talks, and a lot of uh, supply chain uh, discussions. I'm looking forward to see the uh, 10 biggest mistakes you should make in open source. Hi everyone, I'm Shivai and I'm currently visiting KubeCon Detroit. So far I've just attended the keynotes and uh, looked at all the new project updates. It is a really good addition to the keynote space because it gives all these graduating projects a really good uh, opportunity to showcase what where exactly they are in their stage of their open source development. Hi, I'm Leon. I'm a developer advocate with Loft Labs. And uh, yeah, we're here at KubeCon, which it's always a little bit overwhelming, or just a lot bit overwhelming. It's so full, there's so many people here, so many cool new projects to look at and companies to, you know, talk about. Hi, I am Raj Nair. I am the founder and CEO of Avesha. Uh, very happy to hear, be here at KubeCon. I uh, had the opportunity to talk to a variety of uh, interesting people who are very interested in uh, what we're doing and getting the real uh, customers' uh, pain points and feedback, and also talking some, uh, to some partners. Hi, my name is Uma Mukara. I'm a co-founder of uh, Chaos Native, part of uh, Harness now. It's been my seventh KubeCon here. One of the best ones, I would say. It's great to be back here. Been having fantastic uh, interactions at uh, the Litmus booth here. The number of new projects here at KubeCon are really awesome. Hey, I'm Dan Mangum. I'm a uh, principal software engineer at Upbound and a maintainer of the Crossplane project. Just had a great first day at KubeCon. Uh, one of the highlights for me specifically as someone who's worked on Crossplane was seeing Cruise uh, talking about their solution to provisioning across multiple clouds. Uh, using Crossplane, talking about some of the work that Upbound has done with CRD scaling. Um, so definitely a great first day. Saw a lot of uh, old friends around and I'm excited for a great rest of the week. Uh, really excited to see Stefan talk about KCP and a vision for the future there. Um, and then I've got a few talks later in the week that uh, I'm personally looking forward to and I hope some other folks are as well. Hi everyone, my name is Diana Pham. I'm with Vonage and I'm a developer advocate. This is actually my very first KubeCon and I'm having a lot of fun. I've been spending time just walking around seeing all the sponsors today and so I definitely think that you should all check out Sivo's booth. They have really cute swag and yeah. Hi, I'm Joseph Sandoval. I'm from Adobe. So far my day one has been amazing. The keynotes were incredible. Got the surprise of seeing Ihor and now I'm just seeing all my friends that I haven't seen in a while. So. Loving day one. I go to the SIG Talks. I love the SIG Talks because it's where the maintainers are at. Hi, so I've been driving the helm around. Uh, this is like holding Kubernetes in your own hands. And I've been at the Robusta booth. So what we do is we do Kubernetes monitoring and observability based on Prometheus. And I really, uh, I've just been enjoying walking around and bumping into all the people I know from Valencia, like the Austin Civil Cloud team. Um, oh, also I heard a talk by Tim Hocken from Google about Go modules and what a big pain it is, and Go workspace and Go workspaces, which is very interesting. And in the upcoming days, I'm just hoping to have a chance to walk around, um, get some good pictures with the helm, and to hear some interesting talks about Kubernetes. Hi everyone, I'm Kelly. I do developer relations for Monaco. Uh, this is my first day at KubeCon, my very first time, and enjoying meeting everyone and seeing a lot of familiar faces and new people. 
Hello, I am Rishit. I am a student and I was also speaking this year at KubeCon. I had a few talks here. Uh, today I attended the keynotes, which was a great idea because I was featured in the keynote. Yes, so far it was extremely hectic. Too many talks, too many exhibitions, too many things to see. Uh, we kicked off with a excellent keynote. And then I just got this done at the GitLab booth. For the rest of the days, the tomorrow, day after tomorrow, mostly I'm focused on networking. Finding out all the people I like and having a chat with them. Hey, my name is Etiel Schwartz and I'm the CTO and co-founder of Commodore, a Kubernetes troubleshooting platform. And I'm here in uh, KubeCon Detroit. I spent all day talking with a lot of people who are using Kubernetes and are having issues, or with a lot of cool vendors. A really good atmosphere here at KubeCon. A lot of people talking about the future of Kubernetes and the current pains, so super fun. I'm looking forward to tomorrow's keynote session with Whitney Lee. I'm looking forward to... Hi everyone, I'm Ali. I'm at Ending with Ali on everything, including Minecraft, so you can find me on Twitch and Twitter. Um, this is actually my first KubeCon and it's actually been pretty interesting. I've been here for a couple days so far and it's just been super cool to be able to meet all the people in the community. Um, I've spent the past couple weeks working on Kubernetes, so to see all these familiar faces after asking so many questions has just been so amazing. Oh wow, so I'm super excited to be at KubeCon North America in Detroit after years of not being at KubeCon. I missed out on Valencia. It's been a really exciting day. Uh, it's incredible, like really incredible to see the amount of representation there is from the Tel Aviv community. I lead DevOps Days Tel Aviv and Cloud Native and Open Source Day Tel Aviv. Aside from being doing my own gig, RTFM please, my shirt. Um, but yeah, a lot of my clients are here. If it's Armo, if it's Commodore, Firefly, uh, Slim AI, and Slim also had the keynote, so that was very exciting today. I was very excited to see uh, Aisha talk about the evolution of container security over time, which was super uh, interesting, a lot of interesting data there, things that we still need to do. Uh, but there's hope, as, uh, as Aisha said, you know, she's, a, she's an optimist, so am I. Uh, it's been a really exciting day, re meeting up with old friends, getting to uh, say hi and having all my cloud native reunions. So that was really fun and uh, looking forward to additional days of uh, KubeCon. We still want the opportunity as a company to be able to meet as many people as possible. And for me, I also want to meet as many people as possible, which has been super fun. Um, but later tonight, we're going to go to a couple of different parties, different events, meet other people in the community, as well as just see how many opportunities we can take to just meet people because in the world of developer relations something that's super important is just being able to make those in in person face to face connections so i'm super excited to be here hi my name is thomas uh cto and co-founder of i surveillance also the chair of the ebpf foundation um kubecon is awesome we had a great bit of blast so far the keynotes were great hi i'm darren shepherd from uh, acorn labs uh chief architect so today, just been a lot of talking to people, very excited about running applications on Kubernetes. I'll be here talking to more people. Hey everyone, I'm Ella from the Firefly team, and this is our first day at KubeCon. It's been an amazing day, so we started it off at 10.30 a.m. with the showcase. Hi, Paul Balog, I'm a developer advocate with K6, part of Grafana Labs. Having an awesome time here at uh, KubeCon Detroit. Uh, Got to swing by and get some swag. We have a lot of events going on. Uh, we are meeting a lot of interesting people. We have several co-located events. We have the party tomorrow. So, so far our KubeCon experience has been amazing. The, ex uh, the acceptance of the people here in Detroit has been a lot of fun. The, uh, really, it seems really well organized and uh, we really uh, thank the CNCF for setting up such a great, uh, uh, such a great uh, event. Um, and we're seeing a lot of uh, traffic right now from, uh, from all kinds of vendors and interesting prospects, a lot of great technologies that we're seeing. Hearing some sessions about platform engineering and, you know, of course, uh, with K6, uh, load testing and just how to, how to use your observability and keep your, your systems up and running better. 
entire venue seems to be talking about uh, security and Kubernetes security, but also in our vertical, there's a lot of talk about uh, uh, costs. Hey, yeah, my name is JT. Yeah. You know, KubeCon's been great so far. It's my first time in Detroit, but there's so many really cool booths and cool companies to go see around here. I'm seeing really creative swag. Got a Rick and Morty booth down there. I want, and I want that shield. So it's really a good opportunity to interact with our customers and, uh, and see some really creative stuff out here. Uh, how was my KubeCon experience? It has been amazing. This place is huge. There's so many people I'm networking with, so many swag, so many opportunities out there. I'm having a great time and I cannot ex and it's just the start. I'm so excited for what's next to come in the next few days. There are talks, there are sponsor booths. I'm so excited for it. And I'm really hope, I really hope there are more students out there who get to experience what I am at KubeCon. My name is Roger. I'm at Cast and by Veeam. Really exciting place to be right now. We've been talking to a lot of different uh, people here. And there's a lot of different, uh, really interesting people to talk to, a lot of different booths. And uh, just having a great time meeting people, networking. My favorite part about being at KubeCon is getting to know every contributor and maintainer that works on Falco and other open source projects. Man, the next days. Uh, hopefully I'll get some more sleep because the jet lag is really hitting. <laughs> other things I'm really excited for, uh, just like running around and seeing more people from the community. Um, I'm also interested to see like some of the project announcements. Uh, and we got like a taste of that this morning in the keynotes, but there's a lot more to come, I'm sure.